The Data Cloud Diaries, an overview of the methods for loading and ingesting data into Data Cloud. Welcome back to the Data Cloud Diaries. Today we're taking a step back and we're looking at all the different ways that you can get your data into Data Cloud. We're going to be looking at the, getting your data from Salesforce core orgs. You could be getting it from Marketing Cloud, B2B, B2C Commerce. You could have it in files on AWS and Azure, and you could be pushing it yourself. So we're gonna do a quick summary, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the options. So here's a little diagram I put together, and we want to be able to bring data into Data Cloud. And so we see that we, there are Salesforce Data Cloud can set up connectors and have a number of processes where it will reach out on a scheduled manner and get your data. It can be pulling from your core orgs. That's up here at the top left. Those are your Salesforce core orgs and this can pull from one or multiple. You could have B2C commerce and it can pull on a batch process from your B2C commerce. It can also pull data from marketing cloud. It can reach into your marketing cloud and pull out that data. Now, you may have files sitting in cloud storage, and it supports the Microsoft Azure Blob cloud storage, the Google cloud storage, and the Amazon S3 cloud storage. These are all options for bringing, for where data cloud will reach out and pull that data and load it in. Now, you may want to switch to a push where you are pushing the data. So you can take your CSV files and you can push them to an SFTP, a secure file transfer protocol. You can push them to what's called the ingestion API. You can configure the ingestion API and you can do the bulk load. This is the batch bulk load. Or you could take a JSON payload and you could load them to the ingestion API in smaller increments on streaming. You could then set up mobile apps or your websites to send certain insights data in through the mobile website SDK. Currently, I'm not aware of how you can push Snowflake data in other than through one of these existing mechanisms. So these are your choices for pushing data in. Let's take a little deeper look. I built this little grid for the data imports. So you have your Salesforce core org. You can do hourly upserts and biweekly full refreshes. It comes in through the Salesforce CRM connector. And you can also have your data bundles and data kits to help facilitate that. And here is the help link on that. Just so you'll be able to see it, setting up a Salesforce connection into data cloud. That can help you find what you're looking for. Now, marketing cloud, you can have engagement data on, I believe on an hourly upsert or other data on a daily. You have the marketing cloud connector and here is the help article that will take you through setting up the marketing cloud connection in data cloud. All right, now we have B2C commerce. I believe you can bring in sales order data, sales order customer hourly, other data with a, uh, with a daily full refresh. It's through the B2C customer connector. And here is reference material to do that, setting up a B2C commerce connection. You can Google this and find this appropriate help text. Now there's Interaction Studio. It has an upsert, I believe, at 15 minutes, engagement at two minutes. And what you can do is right here, you'll see the Marketing Cloud Personalization Formally Interaction Studio in Data Cloud, showing you how you can um, ingest that data. Now, Amazon S3, one of the earliest ways of bringing data in. So you would have your files on S3 and you'll see setting up your S3 storage container. 
where you can set that up and Salesforce Data Cloud can reach and pull that. We have Microsoft Azure. And we're gonna go and look right here. And here is how you can set up an Azure blob storage connection. We have Google Cloud Storage hourly. Uh, these S3, Azure, and Google Cloud all appear to be hourly. And here is the connector. for setting up a Google Cloud Storage connection. There is now SFTP, Secure FTP, where you can push the files. And you can click. And this shows you how to create data streams with the SFTP connector. What you also want to be aware of is that here's another link on setting up an SFTP connection. Now then there's the ingestion API. So what you can do is you configure the ingestion API. Here's where you configure it. And there's additional information, loading data into data cloud. And there are, in the ingestion API, you have the bulk and the streaming. So the bulk is large amounts of data. They say daily, weekly, or monthly. And the streaming API is small micro batches, which, and I have found a three minute response, is reference to three minute load on your micro. So on the streaming, a reference to asynchronously every three minutes. So we've got streaming three minutes payloads or batch potentially hourly or daily. I've seen about an, I've seen a, could take an hourly response. Now you can set up websites and through the API, the website mobile SDK. And this walks you through how to set up the connectors. Now, Snowflake, I have not found a way to bring data in. Now, what, when we start talking about bringing data out, there is a nice Salesforce Ben article about the Snowflake integration. And it clearly says Salesforce to Snowflake, but not Snowflake to Salesforce. Again, not standard Salesforce reference material, but good reference. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little look at this. So here we are in data cloud. You'll see my B2B commerce. I can do a connection right here. Marketing cloud. I can do a connection. My Salesforce CRM is already set up with a connection. And this is where you have your data bundles coming through your data kits. I have a potential mobile app connection. I can set up the ingestion API. Here is my interaction studio. I can set up my Google Cloud storage. Here's additional connectors. And if I click new, you'll see the Microsoft Azure blob, the secure FTP. Um, these are all great tools. And in the one that Google, if we go into data, stre data streams, and I just create a new one. You'll see that I have, there's me linking to the Salesforce CRM, the mobile app, the ingestion, also the Amazon S3. I could tap into the data kits and MuleSoft comes in through the ingestion API. So these are a bunch of options you have, but the MuleSoft will utilize the ingestion API. So back to this diagram, you wanna look at whether you want your data is sitting in one of these sources right here, the Salesforce, commerce, marketing, or already on the cloud. And if not, you need to decide, are you gonna put it in one of these cloud storages or are you gonna push it yourself using SFTP or push to the ingestion API or the mobile and website API? So this is a high level roadmap of all the ways of bringing currently 
bringing data in to data cloud. And again, these existing APIs like um, the, the cloud storage or the ingestion API, you can use almost any kind of data and push through there. So I hope this gives you a high level overview of all the ways currently that you can bring data in to data cloud. Thank you for joining Ingestion Ideas. Same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe to YouTube, Steve Tech Arc, stevetecharc.com. Thank you very much and have a great day. Make sure you subscribe and like.